as we come together this morning, less than 100 days since the inauguration of a new American government, at least 361 bills have been introduced in 47 legislatures to suppress the right to vote. Is there rampant voter discrimination occurring around this country and or specifically in North Carolina? There absolutely is not, and I'm confident in that. I mean, in some corners it might exist, sure. In some, some far off place, maybe once or twice somewhere, somebody might be in someone's mind. But a systematic, a systematic effort to suppress the votes of black people, that is preposterous. Remember, in North Carolina, the law was tried under the courts, the Supreme Court, a majority Republican and the Supreme Court and a three panel federal district court said that what they did after the Shelby decision was surgical voter suppression, intentional voter suppression. This is not hyperbole. This is not about semantics. And we did not have a conversation about it. The courts looked at it under the microscope of the Constitution after the Shelby decision and said, this is surgical. This is intentional racism. You know, for me, this entire thing goes again back to this whole issue, and it always goes back to the issue. Whenever we talk about this issue, it always goes back to the ID issue. Having that ID to vote puts up that first firewall to create the integrity that we need for our elections. It's not just about photo ID. They attempted to eliminate same-day registration, pre-registration of 16 and 17 year olds, out of uh, uh, precinct ballots, the first week of early voting and instituted one of the nation's most stringent photo ID. In North Carolina, this is what the General Assembly did. They asked for all the data on how early voting, same-day registration, 16, 17 year old voting, so forth and so on, impacted black voters. And then they made their decision on which parts of the law they would, 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 would create or would erase based on that data. That's why the court said that it was surgical racism. Well, Lieutenant Governor Robinson, you said that in America, there's no longer an effort to suppress the votes of black people. Uh, when did we get to that point? Uh, I, you know, yeah. When did when did we get to that point? You, you I can't you said put it my finger that. exactly. A, I can't put right, my well. finger exactly on when that happened. How does race racism uh, impact all of these voting rights laws being written by Republican legislatures across America? Systemic racism, policy-based racism, does matter. It 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 matters because it's a violation of the Fifteenth Amendment. How have discriminatory voting practices evolved to be less overtly racially discriminatory since the 1960s? What they do is they don't actually say the language we're doing this because it's racist, so you have to investigate the data. What they're afraid of is not just black vote, it's the black, white, brown, Asian, indigenous coalition. 55% of poor and low wealth people voted in this past election for the current president that we have. It's that fusion coalition. And, and they know lastly that it only has to be surgical and many times it only has to be a cutting or, 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 or suppressing one or two percent of the vote in order for there to be fundamental change in who gets elected. The threat of free exercise of the ballot by the Negro and white masses is what created a segregated society. This is what happened when the Negro and white masses of the South threatened to unite and build a great society a society where greed and poverty would be done away with. The battle to suppress the vote and the battle to suppress labor rights has been the tactic used by the Southern white aristocracy to hold on to their money and their power. Thank you for teaching, Reverend Bob. If Republicans are so sure that they are not engaging in racism, they would have no problem with preclearance because all preclearance does is checks it out before it's implemented into law. That's what the court said, and that and, and showed that we need preclearance, and there should be no fear of preclearance. If you are not discriminating, you would not be afraid of the preclearance portion of the voting rights.